Hey Carol, where are we today? This is, it's what it, Playa? Playa Pilar. Playa Pilar. So this is uh, the only excursion we're doing on this trip. And Carol's wanted to come here since 2017. <laughs> and today's the day. And look what they, she picked. It is going to pour like crazy. Yeah, but well, it is, it's pouring straight ahead. But luckily the wind's blowing that way. Uh, one of the things to look behind us, we have some blue clouds. Uh, but island weather sometimes only lasts 20 minutes and then it's hot and sunny again. But uh, again, this is our first time here. Yeah, lots of dunes in this area. And look at that water, holy schmoly. Yeah, we'll be walking up that tower and showing you around. There have been a few people in past videos asking if we've ever been here and is it worth going? We'll let you know. Looks like they used to have more building in this area, probably got destroyed by a hurricane. So we bought our tickets on the plane in and uh, either, either they were misinformed or they lied. Uh, but they said that we're gonna get uh, two drinks, food, and chairs. But uh, when we get here, it's only one drink, no chairs. So we had to pay extra, I believe. We'll let you know. Gotcha, Victor. Hope the weather blows over and uh, whether it does or not, we're still gonna make the best out of it. Might look like we just get a chair. Don't have to pay for it, which is good. Do you think it will go fast? Yeah, yeah, it'll go. So this gentleman here is the guy who collects the money for the chairs. It's five dollars per chair for the day. We've got a bit of a covering, so if it starts to rain, it's not gonna protect us too much, but maybe a little bit. Anyway, but that storm looks serious. So we might get blown off the beach. I uh, was gonna hang out in the uh, restaurant until this blows over. Hopefully it will blow over. The stairs are a little confusing. They go back, back this way, down this way. Carol, it looked like there was pollo on the menu there. Hey, Victor, where's the good weather, eh? Sorry? Where's the good weather, eh? <laughs> I see some lights. So this is the restaurant and bar. And the rain is coming down now. So we're gonna be grilling up some food later. Got the deep fryers ready. Banana, rum, nice. Typical island weather. Blue skies. That was probably about 20 minutes, maybe. Yeah, it looked like it was going to be all day. Uh, so Victor told us uh, he brought a, a tour here one time, and there was a hurricane uh, happening around Florida, but the, the water surge was up to the bottom of that building. Uh, so there was no beach. That building was obviously underwater, and that's why they put everything on stilts around this area. I couldn't imagine that.
Thanks for the good weather. <laughs> Did you survive it down on the street? We survived. Survive. <laughs> no, we, we came up here. We ended up coming up here. Oh, did you? Oh, okay. Okay, now we're back to Cuba. Yeah. The weather we wanted. Huge stairs, last step is a doozy. It's a doozy. Quick. All right. So that storm is gone. Hopefully nothing but blue skies from here going forward. On the way out here, there was like a clump of seaweed, and so I kind of scooped it up. So I wasn't sure if I actually caught something that was moving in my eye, so I picked it up, scooped it up, and there was a crab attached to it, and uh, it was kind of cool. It was identical colors. Identical colors, yes. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, well, we saw that starfish. We saw one out a little bit further. Uh, there is um, a gentleman over here that was trying to get people to go out to the island. There are a bunch of boats over there and they will take you out to that island. And there is also a glass bottom boat. And I guess everything costs money to do all these little extra things. How much was it to get here again? What was um, the I think it was $70 on, for the, both of on us. the plane. Yeah, $70 on the plane. For both of us. But if you, if you did it at the hotel, it would be more money. So we bought it on the plane. But they said it was, uh, you get two drinks here. Plus you get two chairs, but it turns out the chairs weren't included and you only get one drink. At so lunch though, not here. Oh right, not here. So here everything costs money, uh, even the chairs. So maybe they're, they're gonna give us a chair for lunch maybe. Yeah. That'd be nice. <laughs> I don't have to stand eating my lobster. So, and they only offered lobster or pork. So if you don't like lobster or pork, bring a sandwich. Time for a beverage. So the three beers that I know about in Cuba are Windmill, Bucanero, and um, uh, Crystal. And Crystal's the best. And I'm hoping that this bar has it. That'd be great. Got lots of room. They didn't have a Crystal there, but there's another restaurant bar thing over here. Uh, and then a whole bunch of people came in and uh, they were with a big group. So I thought I'd just get out of that scenario and just come back here and see if this bar has what I want. For those of you guys that want to come here one day, you can't go up the tower because apparently, uh, I guess either it's been infected with bugs and it's not safe anymore. That was the excuse they gave us. So don't come here thinking you can go up in the tower. Swim, drink, eat. That's pretty much it. Cerveza? No cerveza? Okay. So this restaurant doesn't even have beer, so. Oh wow. No big deal.
finished at the beach. It's 12.30 and now we're over at, do you remember what the name of the sign was when we came in? It's just, a, it looks like a resort, maybe even a shopping area, but there's a bunch of Jeeps over there. Obviously it's like a Jeep excursion, but they have all these stands. This is where I believe we're going to be eating our lunch. Hola. Como estas amigo? Lots of leather goods. Harley Davidson. Hmm. Lots of trinkets. Some more stores over there. Hey guys, toilets right here. And then. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you, my friend. Dos. Two more. Next, please. Gracias. Okay, go with me, guys. Three. So it looks like we're going to get like a lobster bisque or lobster soup. Uh, they gave us uh, agua. First, we're going to eat down and then some type of a juice. Maybe a punch. Yes, it's like an orange pop. I'm looking forward to all this lobster food. Kyo doesn't like lobster, so I got two bowls. Hey. What do you think, hon? It looks like soup. <laughs> you should try it. One, one slurp. Carol trying lobster soup for the first time ever. You don't think you've tried lobster soup before in Cuba? Never. As I said, first time ever. Oh, yeah, now you can taste the lobster? Yeah. Mm, sorry, buddy. Oh, muchas gracias. Good. I thought it was going to be like the other kinds. Very fishy? Like a chunk of oh, okay. I bet it's in there somewhere. No, it's not. It's, it's all pureed. Like Carol said, it's like pureed. There's no chunks. It smells like lobster. Oh, yeah. It definitely has that lobster flair to it. It's nice and savory. It's got a little bit of a pepper kick to it. It's almost like um, like lobster bean soup. It has, it has like beans, yeah, yeah, lobster bean soup. Right, I, mm. yeah. That's what I kind of tasted yeah. too. And that the, the look of it is like beans. Did you like it? No. No? No. I get two bowls. You get two bowls. Gotta eat fast. It was that good. How good was yours, hon? Huh? It was delicious. It's all gone. It's all gone. Thanks to me. I was just oh. looking straight down at it like, what <laughs> am I going to be eating? That looks good. Yeah, what's that though? I don't know. Yeah, let's you could ask. I guess we could just try it and Maybe see what maybe happens. Maybe it's like a potato or something. It is. Sweet. It's sweet. It's sort of like a potato. Hmm. Yeah. And there is my lobster dinner. Yummy. The presentation is nice, but the lobster looks like it's kind of been on like a drying rack for a little bit, maybe. I'm sure you will agree. A little bit of lobster. Still tastes like lobster. <laughs> Still tastes good. Definitely a little on the dry side. And Carol had the, the pork. She said, it's no fair that I get a lobster. And they also put some pork on here. I'm guessing it's because it's half a lobster. They want to give you a little bit extra food on the side. But the pork is really nice and tender with like a gravy. And I'm going to mix that in with my rice. But again, it's always nice to have lobster when you're on an island. Well, finished her all up. And Carol even finished up her pork. So it was pretty good, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're funny. It was salty though. Very, nice. Very salty. Yes, that's what we like it. Salty pork. Gracias. Nice little dessert. Carol discovered that's a little apricot on top and some pineapple underneath. And then what did you figure this out was? I don't know. 
just like a sugary syrup. But bon appetit. Mm. Very sweet pineapple. We'll finish this up and then we'll go shopping. All finished lunch. It was pretty good. Now we're just gonna go into the shopping area. So I think this whole complex is shopping. Gracias. Oh, it's cigars and. <laughs> So there's a bar over here and full on bowling alley. <laughs> Cuban style. Oh, they got a beautiful uh, coffee espresso maker. It's almost like a uh, little theater here. So I got this rum, it's $15 US and uh, the fact that you can only buy it here in Cuba makes it all that more special. I'll have to share that with my buddy Paul. See ya! That's a fun excursion. Uh, would I do it again? No. Would I recommend it doing it at least once? Definitely. So what did you think of the excursion? It's good. Would you do it again? That's the main question. Would you do it again? Probably not. Right. Because the beach was beautiful, the water was so pretty. It was. But the beach here is just as good. It's just as good. You could save your, your day and your money and yeah. stay here. But again, I uh, what I like to say is always would recommend that to do at least once. Yeah. And uh, once you've done it once, you won't do it again. You can go stay at the resort because the beach is just as nice here. The water isn't as pretty for whatever reason it is. I think there's uh, a big shoal out there. And, and so when the sun's shining, it just turns into that beautiful turquoise blues and greens. And, and uh, but if you have any questions about this excursion, leave us a comment in the comment section below. Like I said, if you come here, you've never been there. Definitely, it's a one-time deal. Um, I'm not sure. It was kind of fun being on the bus with everybody. There were five people that just left and didn't tell our bus guy at the last 
I guess where we ate. And that's a no-no. And that's a no-no. You're supposed to at least tell your the driver or the uh, Victor was our tour guide. Tell him, and he did tell everybody before we all got off the bus. Tell him if you're just going to leave because then he worries he's not gonna bring you back or leave you there, right? So yeah, just to be courteous to all the other people on the bus, let, let the uh, travel guide know that you are leaving and then he, has, he can do a head count and everybody just goes. I think they wasted about 15, 20 minutes of our time. Oh, White Whisker, hi kid. Hi kitty kid. Meow. Aw, he's saying hello to all you guys. So, so pretty. Alright guys, that's the end of this vlog and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Ciao.